Hello friends, Sentinel H here, and welcome back to our Chromatic Craft tutorial series. Uh, so in this episode, I'm just going to go through a couple of things that I uh, decided that I wanted to talk about. So the first thing we're going to look at is we're going to look at uh, something called warp glass. So if I pull out my chromic lexicon, and we go to the right and down a little bit, energy elements, multi-block casting, we'll find this thing called warp glass. And the description says, special kind of special kind of window exists, one that should you gaze into it, you might just find that the view on the other side becomes your reality. Okay, so what warp glass allows you to do is it allows you to teleport from one window to the other by looking through it. So it requires a square frame of crystal-based stone, such as crystal and stone, shielding stone, or obsidian, and to be linked to another location. So, uh, crafting the warp glass is pretty simple. Um, the recipe, you need a diamond, you need four aura dusts, four uh, spatial rifting powders, four motive dusts, and then 12 iron ingots. And you do get two of them since they're useless by themselves. Uh, it's kind of nice that you get two. So we'll just go ahead and uh, slap the stuff in place. So the motive dust is what goes in the centers on the outside edge. Of course, the iron ingots go around the outside. They are the frame. Do, 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 do. And then we have our uh, spatial rifting powder. Hopefully I'm putting that in the right spot. If not, we'll have to swap these around. And of course I put them in the wrong spot. Because why would I put them in the right spot? Come on, get out of there. Give me my dusts. Because why would I ever put them in the right place? And... Now we can craft them. So we'll give it a whack. Warp glass. I already had some warp glass. I've been experimenting with this stuff. Okay, so... The next thing you need to do is you have to get yourself this little tool, it's called a linker. It's really simple to craft. You simply need a stick, an ikri shard, and an asvesti shard. It's a very early sort of a tool. Although you do have to have some runes in place. Um, you need to have uh, y equals negative 1, so one block below the table, and asvesti rune uh, down 2, and then ikri rune down from that. So the Asvesti rune would need to go right there, which we already have. And then the Ikri rune would have to go underneath this one, which we also already have. Basically, if you've already got all the runes in a ring around it like this in order to craft um, the rune blocks, you're going to be fine. Okay, so once we have both of those, uh, and you get yourself some crystal and stone or some obsidian, you know, whatever it, it says, uh, you can go ahead and use this stuff. So you just need to build a little frame like that and then plop it in. Then you gotta go somewhere else in the world. It doesn't matter where. Um, I don't think. I don't know if these things have a maximum range or not. Uh, which is something, you know, probably to test out. We'll go like really, really far away. Well, hey, that's new. At least I think this is new. I don't remember seeing this before. Is that one of the meteors? I don't know, it looks like it's... No, this is a... Applied Energistics thing. I didn't think that uh, there was one of those out here. We're just gonna go, like, way over here. Like, really far away. Just to see if we can teleport this far. Okay. So... Plop down our crystalline stone frame. My, um, oh, there we go. Now you have to link these together. So I'm just going to, well, we're going to right click on this one. And then I'm just going to teleport back to the base using my waypoint. And then we're going to right click on this one. Doop. And now it says linked tile entity warp glass and tile entity warp glass. So, our, uh, our warp glasses are linked. 
Now, if I hold an elemental manipulator in my hand, hold shift and right click, it makes the the edges transparent, and you can uh, you can look through it. Now, the way that the warp glass works is that you look through it long enough, and uh, it teleports you from one to the other. However, it it only seems to work in one direction. So far, the the first one that you right click on with the linker seems to be able to teleport you to the second one, but not, not the other way around. At least in my testing. Um, if I look at this one and I just look through it for a little bit, you can see now that we're at, we're at where it looks different, but we're actually at a different location. We're over here by the village where I put the other one, um, which is pretty neat. So basically, uh, if we want to use this, we have, we have to go back over here to the other one. Now I'm not 100% if this is actually true. If it only works uh, in one direction, or if I, but I've tried um, right-clicking on them and swapping the um, which one is transparent and which one isn't, and it still doesn't let me teleport from the other one to the other. Um, so this may indeed be a uh, sort of a one-way teleportation, and you'd have to make another batch of these if you wanted to teleport the other way. So if I hold shift right click, make it transparent and look through it, boom, we're back here. It happens sometimes very quickly, other times slow, uh, slower. This seems to be a reference, I don't know, this seems to be a reference to the game Antichamber. Um, just with the way it looks, it reminds me heavily of Antichamber. I don't know if it's intended to be a reference to Antichamber, but I think that's what it is. If I look through this one, this one seems to, this one takes a little bit longer. Teleport over here because I set this up earlier. See, cool. It's pretty neat. But if I hold shift and right click to make this one transparent and I look through it, it doesn't seem to work. It won't teleport me to the other one. So that's warp glass. It's pretty neat. So, you know, the transposition gate is Still, you know, you can't replace, you're not going to replace transposition gates with warp glass, especially since I don't think warp glass will work between dimensions. Ooh, but that's something we, that's something we need to test, actually. So let's find out. This will be like, uh, this will be fun here. New, new ground. Okay, so I will plop down this warp glass, and then I'll right click it with the linker, you know, preemptively. We'll use the transposition gate to go to the nether. I just love the sound that that makes. Alright, here we are. The horrible, horrible nether. And we'll build another frame. I'd be very surprised if this works. It, it feels to me like the warp glass is sort of intended for closer range. Ooh. I think our linker actually got cleared. Yeah, I don't think you can do that. I don't think you can use this to teleport between dimensions. But you should be able to use it, you know, within the nether. See, now that got linked. Boop. <laughs> now this is obviously useless. Sometimes it takes a bit. For some reason. Yeah, that one's obviously useless. But it doesn't... Hey, there's a cyber demon over here. Let's get a good look at him. Cool looking guy. Uh, it doesn't seem like I can do it because it looks like my linker got cleared. Anyway, let's try it again. Let's break these. Plop this down. I will right click with my linker. We'll go back to the overworld. Let's see if I can link it up. This will definitively. We'll have a definitive answer here. Mostly. Nope. 
it's not going to link. So yeah, uh, you can't use warp glass to link between dimensions. It's uh, specifically designed for. Uh... Okay, so let's right click on this. Let's see if I can link two warp glasses that are already linked. Boop. Nope. Okay, so what I've done is I've actually relinked that one to this one, rather than linking that one as well to this one. So I've changed the link. Yeah. So each warp glass can only link you to one location. And you can't use the same warp glass as a destination for more than one warp glass. So this is the uh, the limitations on this that don't exist for the transposition gate. That's why this one's lower down on the uh, on the tiers. But it's still quite interesting, and I could see a use for this. Um, obviously, if you just want to quickly teleport from one place to another, um, and you don't want to build a giant construct, there's there's many situations where I would want to use warp glass. I think one of the situations where I would want to use warp glass is um, if I wanted to quickly get into like a hidden room, like if I had a secret area, or you know, as the entrance to a base or something. Um, because obviously if I hold right, if I, if I turn it to look like this, um, you don't teleport. Oh, you do. Interesting. I thought you had to have it transparent on one side. Well, that's very interesting. If you didn't have to have the frame around it, you could almost like disguise it by having several of these sitting around next to each other and then only one of them works but yeah the work glass is interesting I have to think of a of a of an application for it now I'm assuming that other people won't be able to use your warp glass unless you give them a key that's just because most everything requires a key but if it doesn't require a key for someone else to use then you could you could make a trap uh, warp glass to where if somebody tries to use it, it warps them into a bad place. <laughs> Only you know which one actually uh, is the good one. In the ownership expansion key, ethereal. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, so you do get a key. Um, you can make keys for this. So yeah. Looks like that's the case. But anyway, that's Warp Glass. I think it's pretty neat. Uh, it's a far cheaper and easier to set up option for um, intra-dimensional travel. So, uh, within your dimension. So unlike, unlike the transposition gate, which can go between dimensions, um, this Warp Glass cannot. So it's a lower power. It doesn't require power. That's another plus. Uh, so you can use it in places where you can't get lumen energy, such as other dimensions like the nether. But keep in mind that it's only one way, so if you want to set up a link in both directions, you're going to need four uh, warp class. But yeah, it's pretty neat. So uh, definitely reminds me of the game Antichamber. If you haven't played that game, do it. It's really good. Um, so yeah, that's it for this one. Uh, stay tuned for future episodes. Um, like and comment the video if you do enjoy it. Uh, just to let you guys know, I've ordered parts to upgrade my computer. They're supposed to be here today, but who knows if they're actually going to show up today. I have guaranteed two-day shipping, so it should be here today. Um, there haven't been as many uh, videos this week because my schedule has been ridiculously, uh, you know, uh, 42 hours this week, which is really hard. And um, recording partners aren't quite feeling well, so I know it's, 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 it's going to suck, but there's not going to be any Dragon Realms tomorrow. Um, I'm going to make something else that I think you're going to enjoy just as much. So thanks again. I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing out.